Hey guys, um, it's a sad day here, a really sad day. Um, Delilah passed away quite unexpectedly. I mean, the onset of of what they believed to have been cancer was just uh, immediate. I mean, within days, uh, she, she uh, wasn't eating well on um, Tuesday. And Jimmy called for the appointment. They said, we can't get you until Wednesday night. And I, I noticed there was something with her breathing. Now, the, the month before, right after Zoe passed away, we had both dogs have their blood taken to check for Lyme disease. And um, in fact, you know, Sassy had the Lyme disease, but uh, Delilah didn't. Delilah didn't. And Delilah's levels, everything was good. And... In fact, you know, the doctor said she had put on some weight and, you know, have her lose some weight, okay? And what happened in the course of that one month, she lost six pounds, which is a lot, the doctor said, for a dog of her size. I know it, you know, you don't think it when a dog is 100 pounds or so, but that's a lot of weight. But he said it was a lot of weight in a very short time. And, but other than that, up until a couple of days ago, she was fine. And uh, she had her eyes were running, and then her nose was running a little bit. But that's what we brought her to the vet for. And he just said it was a respiratory infection. Had put her on antibiotics, and she seemed to get better. And then I noticed on uh, Tuesday it was that her nose was like running again. And Jimmy just you know wanted to believe that that's what the breathing was from. But anyway, um, brought her into the vet uh, last night while I was out. And, uh, you know, Luke, kids, Luke was there. Uh, but the doctor apparently had said to Jimmy that, um, he thought it was cancer based on her, her labs being so different and, and the kidney function, either that or a very severe kidney infection. And just because she's been prone to UTIs, uh, Jimmy wanted to believe that it was the kidney infection. And um, earlier today in the morning, late morning, he called to say um, she passed away. And uh, so it's something I'm, I'm in complete shock of. Um, I, I really, I don't think I process it completely and just think she's at the bed or outside or, you know, somewhere else. Um, not that she's gone. So anyway, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a rough time and... Yeah, and we've got some other, I got some other news that, you know, about a good friend of mine that uh, was unsettling this week, and but we're going to work through that, and we're going to uh, fight that fight together. Um, so if you could keep my friend in your prayers, that would be wonderful. But anyway, um... I did receive this and I thought, well, let's take a look at this because I just, I, I can't keep my mind on anything really. Um, so anyway, I received this and I'm going to take a look at this. This is uh, another installment of that uh, Bradford Exchange. And so let's, let's take a look. I'm going to get the other pieces that we did receive the last time and it was... Charlie Brown, and it was Snoopy as the little drummer boy. It's snowing, and we've got some snow. Those are some really big gloves. Those aren't your gloves, are they? No, no, no. Okay. Mom, do you like those per uh, chocolate pretzels? I don't care, though. See, it's snow. So you're going to eat them right? Okay. So we have Lucy right away as the... Virgin Mary, and she's done in this very pale blue. So we have Lucy, and playing. This is the Christmas pageant, right? This is, replicates that, and I told you the significance also, besides the obvious significance, is that um, Luke's name 
was around this whole uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Not explained that before, but here's the uh, here's Woodstock in the in the hay, and there's the little baby Jesus. All right. And yeah, that little jungle boy. There are other pieces in there. Let's see. See that. But uh, so I wanted to open that and uh, let you see what we've got there. Mom, look at all your car and stuff. So I'm taking all the snow and making stuff. Let me show you. Man, the snow is building up. I tried to make a snowball, but I don't want to. It's already kind of hard. It's that much snow? How much snow is yeah. outside? A lot. A you lot. You should go out there. I don't want to. I hate. I don't, I don't like snow right now. It's pretty hard. Look. I'm trying to squeeze it. I wish I could. This stuff is hard. It's hard to make a snowball. Yeah. It's hard to make snowballs very hard. Wow. All right, guys. I have a couple of hauls and things. Um. to go through. I want to try to see if I can get those done and just, uh, I don't know, distract my mind a little bit. So I'm not getting much else, uh, not getting much else done. And to top it off, Luke's school went down on, uh, excuse me, to top it off, the middle school went down on lockdown. And um, due to a social media threat, so that it's and, and on top of that, it, it was raining a cold, raw rain, and now now it's snowing and it's cold and it's raw, and just not a day that will ever go down as a great day, you know. For us, maybe it is for you. I hope it is for you. All right, and uh, well, that's what I wanted to unbox right here and I'll talk to you guys soon. Everybody take care. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.